Today, we're reviewing the Niwa NW8000 USB microphone. Let's get into it. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Adrian Radix, and today we're reviewing the newer NW8000 USB microphone. This microphone costs under $40. It came with a boom arm, this exact same boom arm, they look the same, a pop filter, the windscreen, the microphone, this shock mount, and also a, um, that's it, I believe. Let's talk about build quality. The build quality of this microphone is surprisingly good it's heavy it's not as light as you think a microphone under forty dollars would be i think without all the stuff i think it's around like twenty five dollars um when you push on the grill the grill kind of gives a little too much a little too much for my comfort so i just kind of left it alone it is a side address microphone what does that mean that means you need to talk into wherever the logo is so you can't talk here you can't talk behind it and you can't talk on the other side either or you won't get the best sound we'll do a test about how that works in the testing segment coming up and it doesn't have a headphone jack so you can listen to yourself um it's called zero latency monitoring you can't listen to yourself while you're talking so i don't know what this sounds like until after i'm done recording it doesn't have an on and off button it doesn't have any type of indication anywhere on the mic it's just a microphone with a usb output and that goes to another thing the usb output is type b not not type b micro not type b mini this is regular printer type b i don't understand why it has a type b input it's strange to me that a product that's being sold now still has such an old interface but it is a fairly inexpensive microphone so I, I i get it it's just strange it's a very strange thing the shock mount that comes with it is surprisingly very good um to be such a cheap shock mount we'll do some more testing but as you can hear it's not a lot of um movement going on you have a little some sound that's picking up but it's fairly a good shock mount uh, surprisingly i don't know how if you can put a heavier microphone on it i don't think it's designed for anything heavier than this but it's not bad this is a condenser microphone with a cardioid pickup pattern this is what a cardioid pattern looks like it picks up things in front of it and it rejects sound from around it right and a condenser microphone you use a condenser microphone usually when you can control the environment, right? If you have a, a pretty silent room and you don't have kids running around in the background, you don't have neighbors mowing in the background. Also, now, dynamic microphones uh, are for situations where you can't control the environment around you, like if you're on stage or uh, if you have kids who just <laughs> more of a broadcaster microphone feel like uh, my wife calls it NPR voice, which we'll discuss later on in the testing section. Test it. First test we're gonna do is gonna be the proximity effect. Proximity effect is when you get close to the microphone and you get that NPR voice going on. So let's do that. This is me right up here on top of the microphone. How does that sound? It's, um, yeah, this is my voice doing proximity effect. Hopefully it's uh, not a horrible sound. This is my mouth about three inches away from the microphone. This is my mouth about a foot away from the microphone. This is my voice a foot away from the microphone. So this is gonna be, excuse the handling noises, but this is gonna be us testing the cardioid pickup pattern. So this is my voice right in front of it, in front of the cardioid pickup pattern. This is 90 degrees away. This is my voice 180 degrees away from the cardioid pickup pattern. This is my voice another 90 degrees away on the other side of the cardioid pickup pattern. And this is me right back on the cardioid pickup pattern, right in front of the microphone. So now I wanna test how well the shock mount rejects sound. So I'm gonna tap on the microphone and all this other stuff, see how well it, re it rejects sound. So here's me tapping on the boom arm all right me tapping on the actual shock mount and me tapping on the microphone this is how it sounds with the windscreen on testing testing 
windscreen on. This is how it sounds with the windscreen off. Testing, testing, windscreen off. All right, let's see how well it rejects plosives. Please, why is it goose or geese, but not moose or meese? This is the same plosive test. Please, why is it goose or geese, but not moose or meese? Now we're gonna test this microphone against other microphones in my collection. This is the newer NW8000 USB. This is how it sounds in my voice. Let's go to the next microphone. This is the Samsung Q2U. It's a dynamic microphone, so you can hear the difference between a condenser and a dynamic microphone. This is how this sounds in my voice. And again, this is the Samsung Q2U, about three inches away from my voice. This is the near NW8000 USB mic again. And let's go to the next microphone. See how that sounds. This is the Fifine K669B. This is how this sounds. This is a condenser microphone. It's around, it's under $40 also. And this is what it sounds like on my voice. This again is the Fifine K669B. And yeah, that's it. Here's the newer one more time. And this will be our last test of a microphone. This is the Elgato Wave 1. This is how it sounds in my voice. This is another condenser mic. Um, this one's a little more expensive. It's over $100, $130-ish. And this is how this sounds compared to the newer NW8000 USB. That's this. All the microphones we're testing against it are USB microphones. So... Some of them are dynamic, some of them are condenser. They all have a cardioid pickup pattern. So, you know. This is my voice on the Samsung S8. This is how it sounds. This is something I wanted to compare to, just in case you were thinking about using a cell phone as a voice recorder or a microphone. This is how this would sound from the S8. So this is how a Zoom call will sound with the built-in microphone on the laptop that I have. It's not the best sounding quality, but it's 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 good. It's okay. It's not good. It's, it's not good. It's what you're used to. So let's switch to the newer NW8000 USB and see how much better that sounds. And this is the newer USB microphone. Let's move this a little closer to my mouth. And this is how this sounds. It's a vast improvement over what you just heard. And um, for the cost, it can elevate your Zoom or your Teams or your WebEx or even Skype calls. Um, yeah, so this is pretty good. So my overall thoughts of this microphone, it's surprising what you can get for under $40. That being said, uh, it is better than not having anything at all. It's okay. If, if all you have is around $40 and you need a boom arm and an a okay, a decent shock mount actually, and a microphone that that's, it's not bad. It's not a bad microphone. Um, and if that's all you have, get it. But if you could save up a little more money, I definitely, for a beginner microphone, I would definitely tell you to get the Samsung Q2U. That's one of my favorite microphones under $100. USB microphones, anyway. Um, brand new, it's a great microphone. I like it. But this microphone, honestly, it's really not a bad microphone for the price, especially for if you want to upgrade uh, your Zoom calls, but you don't want to spend a lot of money on it. Or if you are a starter streamer and you want to have this microphone to improve your audio. I mean, anything better, anything above the built in microphones is really good. Uh, will I be using this in the future? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's it's. Not a horrible sounding microphone. It's definitely not the best microphone I've ever heard in my life. Not at all. Um, but for what it does, it's kind of hard to beat it for the price. I have a link in the description for this. Thanks for joining me. If you like this type of video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like this type of video, give me a thumbs down. Tell me why you didn't like this type of video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a good one.